In this video, I will introduce ROS, which is an offline spike sorter software. The software provides multiple tools for extracellular signal analysis, such as spike detection, automatic sorting, and manual sorting. First, I load raw data from file, open, raw data, by choosing the desired matrix. In the case that the selected matrix includes more than one variable, the desired variable must be chosen from this window. As can be seen, the raw data is loaded. Next, I go to Detection tab. By pressing the Start Detection button, automatic detection will start. The settings for spike detection are visible in the above bar and the output of the detection is shown on this PCA diagram. As an example, I can change signal side thresholding to 2 and again 1 detection phase. The new different result appears again in the PCA plot. Next, I go to Auto Sorting tab. Here I can start automatic sorting by pressing sort button. As can be seen, this process contains multiple steps which are waveform alignment, statistical filtering in order to remove outliers and clustering. The configurations of each step are provided in separate sections. This process may take a while. Now, sorting is done. The sorting result is observable in PCA and waveform plots, and different clusters are represented with different colors. The list of colors appear in the legend window. Next, I select Manual Sorting tab to make manual changes on automatic results. In this section, multiple tools are provided in order to visualize and modify automatic results. One of the tools is denoise. Denoise is used for manual denoising. By choosing the data plot percentage from the left and denoising threshold from the right, a number of samples are found as outliers. Also, I must determine the cluster number and press plot button. This process may take a while. As can be seen, two samples are detected as outlier and can be removed by the user by clicking on save. Next manual tool is Merge. It is used for merging a number of clusters into one single cluster. For example, I choose the fourth and third clusters. Which are the black and green clusters in this plot and press Merge. As you can see, the clusters with green and black colors are converted to one cluster. Remove tool is used for removing the selected cluster. For example, here I select the cluster with number 254, which also disappears from the plots. By using Resort tool, I can do an automatic sorting process just on the selected clusters. For example, I choose the green cluster and press Resort.
As can be seen, the selected cluster divided into three new clusters by resorting process. The next tool is Assign to Nearest. It is used for assigning the samples of the source cluster to the target clusters. For example, here I want to assign the samples inside the blue cluster to its two neighbor clusters. In order to do this, I must choose one for source and three and five for target clusters. By doing this, the source cluster is disappeared and every sample in that cluster is assigned to the two target clusters. The next tool is PCR Remove. By using this tool, I can choose samples manually from the feature space and remove the not selected ones. It is enough to select the desired region using the selection tool. The result appears in all of the plots. The next tool is PCA Group. Again, a selection tool similar to previous tool appears. But this time, a new cluster is defined for the selected region. which is colored in black in the plots. Multiple visualization tools are provided in the visualization menu. The first one is plot, which represents waveforms of the different clusters in separate plots. There exists lifetime representing time of the spikes as histograms for different clusters. ISI plots inter-spike interval for different clusters. Also, a fitted gamma distribution is plotted on each diagram. Next visualization is 3D plot which provides a 3D plot with different options for each axis. The options are first three PCA, time, peak-to-peak, -peak, duty, and none. For example, I plot for three first PCAs on the three axis. I changed third axis to time. And press plot again. Also, for peak to peak and duty, I can repeat this. The last visualization is raw data, which plots the whole raw data with the detected spikes. As can be seen, spikes are represented with colors depending to their cluster. By zooming on the plot, more details become visible. And I can compare the waveform shapes of the different clusters. Finally, to store the results, I go to File, Save, and choose between Detection Results and Sorting Results, and click on Save to save the results.